talk to me a little bit about the dating process because for me, and I said in the last show, I struggled big time with, I knew my marriage was over, but I stuck in it half in part because I, I knew I wanted to date again eventually or remarry. I'm just that type. Okay. But yeah, I'm, same thinking, here. Yeah, I'm just yeah. that type. Cause the best piece of advice people gave me was, Hey man, just go wild out and sleep with all the women after your divorce. I'm like, that's <laughs> not me, bro. I, but anyway, I wanted I think to, I, I didn't tell you that. Right. You did. I don't think okay. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. I, I don't cool. think you did. Yeah, okay. All right. But all right. um, long story short, man. Um, I had to think because when I got married, I when I I was married for fourteen years. So you're talking about baby Facebook phase. Oh yeah. Pre-social media. Pre-social media yeah. to me divorcing and getting out in this social media jungle. Uh, and it's been a blessing that I was able to actually meet my wife on Instagram, um, which is crazy. That's right? ironic, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. After I shut down all my social media and all the stuff. But anyway, long, anyway, what was your process like during dating? Did you find it to be nerve wracking or did you find it to be intimidating or were man. you just already the man? you like, I got this. Ah, uh, nah, man. I could, I could, I could probably say that um do um i didn't do the social media thing with dating and it wasn't because i like took some oaf like <laughs> oh man i i doing no social media i mean social media is touchy in the separation too because you got a list so facebook is, is just social media is such a big part of your life now right because even if you die they even got that contract like hey if you die yeah, do you yeah. want to i'm like this is it became that real like death and everything somebody got to manage your account you gotta leave it in your will right so it's like you have, I had to you have to put that you separated in some mm -hmm. shape or form that your if your, your spouse if they they change their name their name going back to the other name right you can't even do it kind of secretly right yeah. so it's just a weird thing but i didn't i did put we did, uh, you know, because you had to, we had, had to announce it via social media. I ain't doing no ratchet way, like, ah, oh, free, you know, like, I was just like, you know, kind of like, this is a separation, right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, of course, that brings about the people. But uh, back to the dating part, um, everybody that I met, I met, like, through, like, physical interaction, like, you know, I was out somewhere or something mm -hmm. like that. So, and now, obviously, when we meet, like, then I'll check the their profile history and stuff see what's going on but in the dating realm like i did i thought i was honestly bro man i thought i was gonna be out there for a minute right because i'm like man i just was married man why what's the use of like getting back you know like into that situation not the use because i i want to get married again but not really like right away yeah. you know um so uh i dated around mm -hmm. and but everybody i met was um you know, out through interactions. Mm. So it wasn't that, I can't, I can't think of, I could, I, I think I could say a hundred percent that nobody that I dealt with during the interim before I met my fiance and now wife that I met on social media and linked up that way. One, because I just, it's like the friends were all connected and stuff. I guess I kind of wanted a fresh thing too. Like I didn't want nobody like, oh, you're the separated guy, right? You know, like, you know, like they already know my situation. You know, I would, I'd rather introduce that myself. So, or they'll meet me on a clean slate. Mm -hmm. So everybody that I met was um, that. And the only, I actually, my fiance was the only one that it came up about me being previously married because that's the only thing that was semi-serious you understand like i didn't even we i didn't even get that far with nobody else because i wasn't looking at it for the long view you don't even know how to know i was married like why are you like it's not important like you know whatever at that yeah. point she's the only one that and and, 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 and I, she was an accident like you know i didn't even mean she she found out <laughs> so i had to be like yeah well you know my situation so that that's how that worked but yeah man dating i would like i said i would strongly advise anybody like against what I did in the sense of, I mean, it worked out for me, but I would totally have used that time more like, not even dating, like, you know, there's so much freedom when you could just do your own thing. And I mean, there's blessings when you could do it with somebody else, but you know, I didn't take advantage of that time, man, where I could have just did my own thing. I could have built my own thing, really get connected to myself or, and God, right. You could have really just saw him on your own and, come to your own understanding of things with him. So 
Nah, man, I kind of went, I was like, kind of right out there right away, mm-hmm. honestly. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, you know, it happens, man. I mean, yeah. this, this is like unfiltered, right? You know, yeah. I, I don't believe that there's just this one cookie cutter way because obviously at the end you got the prize, right? <laughs> right, right, yeah. It things worked still, out. Yeah, things still worked out in your favor, you know. So, and everybody's path is different. So, um, you know, I, my route was a little different because I was like, I need to get myself together where I need to really, like, I need to dig in and see what's wrong with Sean because I'm always, my mm-hmm. mind is always turning. That's good, man. And yeah, it's and during my separation, I just took that time for reading and meditation and working. Ooh. I was just grinding. I was just, yeah. that's all I was doing. I was, I was working 50 hour weeks at my job, 10 hour days, you know, just grinding, reading, praying. Um, and, and, you know, once I got remarried and stuff like that, I was like, I got to go get this, uh, this counseling. I got to go get this therapy done, man. Cause I don't want to bring no old trash from my old, marriage into this one like let me fix Sean hey because yeah. I had some issues I needed to work through that I was unaware of being married for 14 previous years or at least I was hard headed you know right <laughs> right didn't listen you know I don't know yeah yeah everybody's path, path is different man let's talk yeah. about how